We're at the uh, Blue Hill Co-op. And uh, here we can look at the electrical side of it. And then here we have uh, the main power comes in to this disconnect right here. That feeds this three phase bus bar. And the three phase feeds this breaker, which feeds a contactor for the compressor. And then the breakers down here feed the cases. So you don't need other distribution panels around the supermarket. Um, the, the bottom break here though feeds our electronic power supplies and feeds any of our boards. These boards, if you watch, when you hear the noise change, you'll see that light turn green. Mm -hmm. That means the unload is on. Now watch. It'll turn red here. There it goes. Turn red. That means up. So this is the compressor right here. If I was to shut that compressor off with my phone, you can see that when it loads up again, now I'm going to shut the compressor off, which will shut that green light, turn it red. See that? My phone here. There we go. Turn it back on. Okay. We're seeing the uh, compressor running right now. Well, now the, yeah, the compressor's out back here, which we can shoot from this other side. And uh, here is... Uh, Compressor is uh, running. You see, that's the sight glass thing. It's full of refrigerant. Mm -hmm. Nice green color there, which is very good. And this is the subcooler. This is electronic modulating valve that controls the subcooler, which ultimately controls the discharge gas. Uh, pressure transducers that uh, give our little computer over here all the information that gets put into the cloud. So over here Kirk, is the compressor side. A side view of the uh, compressor. Really quiet when the covers put back on. Yeah. Line feeds all the liquid to the system this is attached to. This is the suction of the return line. So you just have two lines for refrigerant. And you get two water lines. This is the water coming into the heat exchanger to uh, to absorb all the heat and this is the return uh, here and then we have uh, a couple electric feeds the big pipe here is the feed that feeds the main disconnect also uh, this doesn't only feed the compressor it feeds all the cases uh, the circuit breaker for all the cases and then uh, this is communications up here and then down here is uh, power for the uh, cases in the store. This is the mechanical room, is that right? Yeah, this is uh, a furnace, on the wall furnace, a uh, hot water tank uh, with a heat exchanger to feed the tank over here. Then you yeah. got, so we have, uh, this is trains controller. This is the electric uh, control room. See, cash registers, all the uh, videos, the uh, cameras around the store. It's for security. It's for the phone systems. The uh, makeup there unit. Here comes in from the grill outside. Right. And comes through this air handle here. and goes through the heating and cooling coils. So we're using a heat pump to uh, raise the temperature of the uh, makeup there. We can hear it running. Part of that control package, if you look around behind this little screen over here and both to the left and right of it, a lot of little boards. Yeah. All kinds of this is the main pump that circulates all the uh, glycol. And 
the pump is pushing water. That pump pushes the fluid in that direction, which feeds all the heat pumps and the uh, refrigeration modules. The return is on this pipe closest to the wall with the black Gary Sweat, my guy, uh, genius, uh, developed uh, an arrangement to hold that actuator valve on that valve. This is the second uh, Lebrec uh, micro module. We have four of these all together. Right. No. Here's the third unit. Okay. And then here, what I want to show is that. Uh, oh, wow. This is the suction and liquid line coming from our module, and that feeds, for instance, this evaporator, the next evaporator down here. It feeds off, goes in, and feeds this big trucker's cooler here. Ah. Equipment there, and then it goes out here to the dairy cases through that wall and the dairy cases uh, on the other side. So it feeds all that. And uh, if you notice, this pipe, the black pipe, is pitched all the way back to a oil trap down here before we go up to a rising. Uh, let's see. It's where we uh, dump heat uh, so when it's too warm. This is uh, the fluid return. Uh, which goes in here to get cooled and then this is uh, the supply back to all the refrigeration and heat pump units. This is the water valve that our computer controls to spray the mist uh, onto these adiabatic pads. When uh, yeah. This is an adiabatic light cooler. Right on the very end here is the uh, control panel. Okay. And these are all ECM motors that uh, the controller controls. And why we call it adiabatic is if you look down inside here, see the spray nozzles in there, those blue things with mm -hmm. the yellow tip? That uh, that will spray moisture, a mist of water, on these on this cloth over here and the screen, and uh, it'll cool the air in the summertime as it comes in. So when it gets up to a certain temperature, the spray mist is just pulse a mist out, like uh, one second every 30 seconds. And uh, to the back here, you can the, see the uh, fourth module is on top. Uh, we can't see it. We can't even hear it. So these are the exhaust hoods, and uh, that's what we need to have makeup there, even in the winter. This is a bus that we call it Flexware Pi Zero because it uh, takes this Pi card, which is a standard off the shelf card uh, with USB ports. This little teeny chip right here is, is the Wi Fi and Bluetooth chip, same one as in your cell phone. This is where you plug a disk in, uh, uh, a little disk card. This is the full blown computer with a full blown operating system in it and uh, so all of these terminals communicate to all these other cards that we uh, make and uh, the first card here runs RS-485 stuff this card here is for the Dallas one wire technology this is two digital inputs and they all got LEDs to tell you whether it's on or off this is all analog that takes on pressure transducers and, and thermistors and then this is a solid state relay board with two channel outputs we bring the power in here and we can have neutral and 110 volts feeding a solenoid or a contactor and uh, that's the solid state relay with heat sinks on them and uh, anytime you have a problem you can always pull a board out and plug another board back in and then smallest refrigeration module in the world pretty impressive so look at uh, one of these modules being built uh, all made from aluminum uh, extrusions with uh, gussets holding them all together. The magnets uh, hold on the uh, doors but keep the sound from uh, coming out with the insulation. It's a view with the uh, compressor. And the uh, 
shell and coil condenser receiver. And he's uh, programming that um, module that we saw earlier.